Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah the Ghost. Guys, I just want to speak more about spirituality and I just received, you know, a comment from my brother Preston and he wrote, just came across your channel today and it's interesting to listen to, but I'm curious. When you pray, who do you pray to? And these landlords at the mountains are these spiritual beings share more light on this please you know and first of all i pray to god without god i'm nothing that's the reason why you see me you know going to mountains rivers and caves and you might be asking yourself a question why do we go to mountains rivers and caves in most cases it's about dreams you dream about a certain mountain or you dream about a certain cave or a river then you pray about it first until they show you you know that mountain river or cave then you go to visit that mountain river and cave simply because of i do believe that dreams are the language of angels or the language of ancestors if we may say now when we talk about he asked um because the first question he wanted to know if i pray who do i pray to i pray to god of course i answered that and he wanted to know about the landlords in the mountain if they are spiritual beings Okay, you have to understand one thing. They are spiritual. That's the reason why, you know, going to mountains, going to rivers, going to caves is a spiritual journey. And now you need to understand why do we call them landlords. Each and every territory, each and every household has a landlord. There is an owner. There is somebody who stays there every day. That person has the way of doing things. There is rules. There are do's and don'ts. And you cannot show up to another man or another woman's place and do what you like. It's called trespassing and it's against the law. Anyway, if you think the law only apply to us as humans here on earth simply because of now the politicians or the leaders are making laws you need to understand that once you go to rivers mountains and caves there is also laws there you need to know those laws and you need to understand those laws and in order to understand them and to know them you need to be spiritually powerful so that certain things can be revealed to you now when we show up there we pray about it first and you need to be in a space whereby you can see the place you're going to before you can even take a trip i'm trying to explain that to him they are spiritual if you are spiritually you know connected with the place or if you are spiritually clean you are not carrying the you know that evil spirit because we have to say it when people are going to mountains they are going for two things it's either they're going there to pray to God or it's either they're going there so that they can get some things done to them or they are willing to get spiritual, you know, boost and they have to go and make deals with those creatures, those animals and making deals with those animals is something else because they come with rules. It's either, you know, that landlord is going to become your woman or is going to become your husband. You need to know that 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 creature or that landlord will want certain things to be happening to your life will want certain things that you need to do you sh and things that you shouldn't do you know you hear people you know you see traditional healers all the time i don't like to call them traditional healers because somebody who just go wherever they go and they show you that they have the snake they have this and that come on you just make deals you are like a drug you I almost said something. You're like, those guys who are selling drugs, you just made a deal. You gave them, you gave the landlord something in return so that the landlord can give you something that you don't have. People who go to make deals with the landlord, that means they don't have that spiritual power. You need to be able to go and come back without making a certain deal. Even if you're poor, that's fine. You are you're operating according to what God gave you. But if you want a boost, we see many people, if you want a boost, you go there and you get a boost. It comes with a lot of money, a lot of gifts and stuff, but you still have to maintain everything that they're giving you. That's why you see people are depressed, you know, people are committing all this type of suicide and stuff. It's simply because of the signed deals that they cannot keep up with. It's a problem. We all remember the story of the other guy who... Who used to tell people online that he has to go and sleep with you know 500 women a day so that he can maintain 
you know, the power that he has. He, he even mentioned the name of, you know, whatever spiritual wife they gave him. So those things that do happen. The football player, Tabo Mulise, you know, recently spoke about, you know, the lady who used to call him every day when he was going to places. And he met this other guy and they have to come here to Bryanston and the guy took him to the private room. The guy told him to close his eyes and there were certain things that he was talking to. Those things were giving him powers and they gave him, you know, a rabbit, but he couldn't buy, you know, the carrots from, you know, Hulwets or any shop. He must go to that African guy so that he can give him, you know, the carrots so that he can feed the rabbit. The rabbit was, maybe the rabbit was making him run faster in the football field because we all know how smart the rabbit is. You know, so people do things, you know, and sometimes they come out and they tell us like, guys, this is what I used to do. You know, and when you look at the rabbit and you look at how the general, how you used to play football, come on, man, come on, put two plus two together, man, you will see what is going on. But those things, they, they, they need a lot of maintenance. And if, if you hear the brother saying, you know, that openly on podcast and chill, he said those things, you know, that's the reason why I'm talking about it because he just said it, you know, that means... You know, the maintenance was, was, was crazy because they will start as, you know, you give it the carrots after carrots. You, you have to slaughter a goat after a goat. You have to slaughter a cow. After that, you have to bring a lot of stuff. You know, it's, this is YouTube, guys. Sometimes I feel like I can just talk. But if you talk deep, you know, they're not going to, you know, monetize the, the video. You know, I just wanted to say that. And uh, let me look at the other thing. Oh, you wanted me to share more about that. Okay, that's why I'm going deep and trying to share. You know, th that's how it is. It's either you have it or you don't have it. And there are people who go there so that they can get that, you know, extra energy or spiritual boost whereby they can see things. Even a lot of church leaders, you have a lot of church leaders, you know, what they're doing. You know, you will hear stories about what they're doing at the river. Thank God they are talking. Because some of the things, if you just talk about them because you see them in your dreams, people are, are going to say you are mad. You know, this guy is crazy. Where, where did you see those things? But thank God they wrote books about it. They talk about it all the time. Go and check a lot of podcasts online. People are talking about these things. They made deals. And for them to get out of those deals, it was crazy. So that's one of the reasons why I will never make a deal. I'd rather die poor. I rather just do things, you know, the way I'm doing things whereby I can wake up every day and go to work. Let me wake up four o'clock every day and go to work. I, I don't I don't know what will happen so that I can end up being on that kind of space, but I know how things are. There is no peace. It doesn't, you know, help to have a million in your bank account, but you cannot sleep. Simply because of you have to attend this thing the whole night. You know, you have to attend it the whole night. It has some crazy demands. So you, you just have to know who you are, what you stand for. And, and when, when, when God say yes, you know, nobody can say no. When the time is right, the time is right. Things will open and blessings that you get from God are forever blessings. Even if when you're gone, they will still be there to help people and people can always know that's the reason why you hear me talking because i realize that not talking is not helping i am stressed do you know how painful it is in in most cases you just see people on the street who are traditional healers or who are prophets who see you and tell you that you are gifted and they tell you that god is going to bless you and you wait because of you know that God's time is the perfect time. You wait. From 2000, 2003, 2004. And when it's like 2020, you're like, you know what? I've been waiting. Let me try to talk. Because of now waiting and keeping quiet is not helping. Let me try to talk. Maybe talking will help. You know, you start talking. Of course, you provoke, you know, ancestors or your angels. You say certain things that they don't want you to say. But you're tired of waiting. You're like... Let me just say them anyway. If I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. If you're going to discipline me, you're going to discipline me. But this is my trip. This is my journey. Why don't I just make it a hobby? 
whereby I can travel to mountains, have a camera, and share these stories. I'm, I'm not gaining anything anyway. I'm not losing anything. So whatever rules which are there, they don't apply. I don't have rules because I never exchange anything. You know, that's one, 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 one reason that you see me, guys, sharing stories. You cannot share stories like this if you already made a deal. There is a thing behind you which keeps telling you, yeah, 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 you're telling them too much. You, you, just, you just can't be free, you know. But it is life. I see brothers who are also doing things differently. You see them with a lot of money there. And they're telling you, this is how we're making our money. We can help you with this and that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. If you have money and you got too much money, that's your money. But the truth is, that's the money that, you know, many people are talking about. I think even Teko mentioned it. Whereby they, they always open this, you know, a calabash. And when you look at it, it's just filled with, you know, money. That's the money that they attract people with. You know, they show you that money on the social media and you're like, oh my God, these people are making a lot of money and you want to follow them and you want to join whatever that they're, they're doing. That money is not real. It looks real, but that money is not real. We have seen some Nigerian movies whereby you see a woman going around, you know, dating different men. And if she sleep with you, you know, you just tend to become money. The whole body where you were laying down, she put the white sheet and when she removed it, it's just money stacked there. She take that money and pack it into the suitcase. You are gone. Guys, Nigerians has been telling us all these years. So imagine if now she get that money, which is your body, your body was transformed to money and they get a, a video camera whereby they are sharing, you know, that money with you on the social media. You see that money... You're so excited. You don't know the things that you must do to get that money. Maybe I might be talking too much about on this video, whereby they will be like, that guy talks too much. We need to silence him. But we have seen this in Nigerian movies. They were not playing. They showed us. Who, who will forget the, the, the top, the biggest Nigerian story of, you know, the guy, you know, taking women to hotels, but every time he comes out alone because this guy tends to become something else and he swallow all these women guys these stories this there has been articles online there has been articles online there is a story of a guy it's also from the other country of course who some stories are even deep man i cannot even share those stories they are so deep you know and our south african Women has been victims of all these things every year. There is something which is happening whereby there is somebody who will just look nice on the social media, driving expensive cars, staying at great hotels or has a great house. And the woman will go and date that man. And later when she finds out that, oops, to this house, there are certain rooms that you cannot go. And there are certain things that if you can see them, you cannot go out there and speak about them. Look, on the social media, there was a big, big story of a slay queen who just found the guy, you know, at the bathroom, bathing with his, you know, whatever that he's using so that he can get more power. Look, these things are there. These things are there, guys. I'll stop the video here because the video is long. I just wanted to speak about it and tell, you know, I think my brother Preston, that might be a guy's name, you know, and he wanted to know, first of all, my brother, I pray to God, without God, I'm nothing. You know, uh, the way to heaven is very difficult. It is very difficult. You have to be patient. You know, and the same things that you, you used to see in the Bibles, in the times of Moses, in the times of Elijah, you know, they're still happening even now. But because of that, they were written. You know, you see them and you glorify them. And you understand that going to pray to mountain, it was a great thing back in the days. But when people are doing it, you know, now, it looks like it's, it's taboo. You know, and we all know that there is danger into the mountains. You need to be spiritually strong. Sometimes we are blessed to go to all these places where there is landlords. And when you get there, you know, they allow you to go in and pray, come out alive. And if I may speak a bit about landlords, I will speak about landlords on another video. Thank you.